Welcome back guys to a new video. Now today's video is going to be like a follow up from my last video which was everything about the console update, you know, all the patch notes, the release date and stuff. But this is like the video after which, which is as you can read from the screen, everything you want to know about Arc version 258, version 755 and that as you can see it does say version 508 but it is meant to be version 509. I think it's just an error they have on this here but everything right here is going to be what you need to know especially for you guys on the console because obviously the PC one has been released already but you may as I said you may find some information here that this is going to be useful for you guys if you just didn't know so we're going to go through everything in this video and if you do enjoy it if you wouldn't mind dropping a like that'd be great and if you wouldn't mind subscribing if you're new to the channel that'd be great too thank you for all the support we're very close to 42,000 subscribers now guys which is amazing so thank you all for that support but we're just going to get straight in with this video talking to you guys about the big console update that is going to be coming out on the 8th of June now as I said um you know I I think it was two days ago I did my last video, which it just explained everything that's coming with the update, which this will do too. But it, you know, it goes in depth into big things that people want to know about, which is obviously going to be useful for you guys. I will be leaving the link in the description down below to this page if you guys want to read through any more or anything like that. But um, obviously, you know, we'll talk about that more later or towards the end of the video. But anyway, so we're going to start off with the with the creatures. So this is everything that you need to know about the Hyo the Hyo and Adon, which I always say the name wrong, but it is obviously I always as you guys know from my past videos, you know that I call it the hyena even though it's not so these cute pups are tamed by petting them use gilly and creep up on them to and be very careful by crouching pet them when you get close enough but just be careful not to spook them away because they do get very scared of survivors if you go close to them without being creepy using your ghillie suit you will not be able to tame them while the wild versions travel in groups of up to six their pack numbers determines which prey they will attack if they believe they will win a battle they will attack if the if they feel outnumbered they will run the other way so you will find with these guys that if they believe that they'll fight say there's a t-rex now i doubt i don't even know if they'll fight t-rexes i mean if they're in a huge group there's a chance, but I really, really, really doubt it. Say if there is a trike and there's one of them, it'll run away from a trike. But if there's about five of them or six of them, they're probably most likely to be attacking a trike in that sort of way. The alpha pack of um, um, of them will refuse to be tamed, so they, the, apparently that's just not going to happen, unless you obviously you force tame them. While not rideable, um, they can wear a saddlebag. The saddlebag has the ability to, um, to um, efficiently preserve meat and increases the spoiler time to give them extra armor as well. They have the ability to recover health quicker when consuming corpses, and you can pet your tamed pup to give it damage uh, output and resistant buff. It's adorable. So that's everything you need to know about those guys there. They are very cool. And if you haven't seen my video when I did tame up some of these guys, then it is very interesting to watch. The next one is the Hesperornis, which I, I try and say the name right as well. A lot of these I get wrong. So to tame a Hesperornis, you must bring it fish you have killed yourself. Drag your fish corpse, uh, corpse towards it and feed it. These water ducks drop golden eggs that little creatures love. When fed to small, non-rideable tame, the egg gives away te a, a, a temporary 500% increase experience buff. Humans and bigger creatures can eat it as well for a 10% buff. In order to lay an egg, a tamed um, Hesperornis must kill and eat a number of live fish. Once it's satisfied, it will walk up onto land and lay an egg that will either be a regular egg or a golden egg. Um, regular eggs can be converted into oil in the cooking pot. Moving on to the next thing, which is the giant sloth. So it prefers um, the actual the Megalena kibble, which is the, that, the kibble of that is obviously the giant lizard. One honey, ten chitin, measure berries and fiber or honey to tame it. When a tamed giant sloth kills an insect, it receives a brief buff that allows it to kill insects even more quickly. This creature is excellent for harvesting chitin. So moving now on to the um, the Megalena, which is obviously the uh, giant sort of, you know, lizard thing, which can climb up the walls. Prefers baryonyx kibble, raw mutton, uh, sava root, um, medro berries, fiber, or meat to tame. Similar to, th to the fire, like a CO, I always say that, I know I said that wrong there, but it's, you know, the, the little things that remind me of saber tooths and, you know, they can climb up trees and stuff. The Megalena can scale walls. However, the this, the, this giant li lizard can transfer can transverse walls in every direction, including under ceilings. My voice is terrible today. I'm sorry for my pronunciations, guys. It's awful. But it can climb in loads of different directions. That's different. Um, you know, it can you know it can climb round the size of rocks. It can do everything to do with that, especially in water as well. Um, 
So obviously another thing, a personal tip, if you're walking around on the ceiling, switch to first person, it's very, you know, it can get you a bit confused and stuff like that, if you guys want me to sum that up in better wording. Uh, wild and tamed Megalanas give their prey um, rabies when bitten. This condition decreases health and stamina for a short period of time. So that's what you need to know about those ones. So the Uteranus is obviously the relative of the T-Rex. So it prefers Kentrosaurus kibble um, and everything else you can see here as well as meat. The wild Ute spawns three wild Carnos that can, can, courage, that can courage roar and recruit to fight behind its side. So obviously, if it, when it roars really loudly, as you guys know, the UT can roar very loudly, three wild Carnos can, will come and back it and it'll be like its little, you know, its little helpers type of thing. A tamed UT also retains this, this ability to recruit wild Carnos to fight with it. The UT has two roars, a courage and fear roar. So obviously the courage one is to get some Carnos to help it and the fear roar is to scare things away. Bound to right click the fear roar, you know. Obviously, they're just saying right, right now. This is saying it's just gonna. What, or what I just explained there, the fear roar is to make things uh, enemies much get, you know, much more what worse in battle, and they'll be more likely to run away. And obviously, the courage roar is to get people on its allies. It also has a turret mode where, when enabled, it will roar and scare off anything that passes by. So you'll go into some sort of turret mode and roar anything that you think that you could scare away, basically, unless it thinks that it can fight you. So, starting off with the Harpoon Gun, which of the new items, no longer are you stuck with only crossbows in the ocean depths. This new weapon uses spear bolts, previously called ballista bolts, used in the ballista turret to take down creatures of the sea. You can also craft trank spear bolts, which can be used to sedate underwater creatures. So now, guys, there is a much easier way of, um, of obviously, you know, knocking out anything bigger like a Mosasaurus or something underwater. You can use the Harpoon Gun now for that, as well as the trank spear bolts. The motorboat. This is a new boat. Is powered. This new boat is powered by gasoline and is a speedier than its a speedier boat than its wooden counterpart. It also has increased health and increased structure support on the motorboat. There's a toilet obviously coming, which is um, the toilet can be hooked up into the water pipe. When you're ready to obviously go to the toilet, sit down on the toilet and take your number two. After flushing, you'll be given fertilizer and a special refreshing buff that gives you an experience boost. Obviously right here guys, if you do want to read anything more, this is why I'm going to be leaving the link to this in the description down below. I have read through this in my last video if you want to see some more, but Primitive Plus has received a huge list of, list of fixing and updates. Read the full patch notes for Primitive Plus here. So all you have to do is, um, you know, you just click on the link that I'll be putting in the description. You can scroll down and click on this for yourself, or you can go check out my video that I did if you missed it last, which explains everything about the Primitive Plus update. So achievements that are coming, so if you're familiar with the achievements on PS4 and Xbox, the achievement sets are now matching, so there's everything's fixed to, to do with that if you didn't know. Completing the achievements, uh, achievement reward, uh, achievements reward various cosmetics, hairstyles and emotes that were tied to past events. As a reminder, minimap data is purposely um, if wiped clean in this patch so everyone is able to get the, the new map related achievements, so that's going to be sorted as well. All this other stuff, we're going to read through a few things here that has been fixed. So various UI updates and tweaks, including the tribe log, custom rec recipe, painting, dye and dyeing screens, and, and dino and ancestry UI is all being fixed and stuff like that with tweaks. Item notifications on the main HUD are now listed on the left side of the screen at the top. Viking hairstyle and facial hairstyle added for male and female. You now can disable spawning in with item skins in your option menu. Uncheck the default survivor items option at the bottom of the second column. Dire wolves have finally have pack logic like the Allosaurus and obviously the hyenas, but that's the hyena don, which I would say wrong. But if that's right, then I'm happy for myself there. The highest level creature in the pack is considered the alpha, which you'll see alpha, you know, you'll see like the fiery alphaness going over it when it's if it's the leader of the most powerful pack. Um Alpha dinos have been properly tweaked to, um, to output their intended amount of damage, so there's going to be a slight, a slight alpha buff. The uh, the overworld has new sounds, which um, which were modified for the anklo. You know, loads of different dinos. If you obviously you want to read through them themselves here as well, as well as human footsteps. The ballista slash harpoon bolt now has uh, different uh, piercing properties, and um, you know it's actually changed. The, you're, you know, it's obviously changed now to the harpoon bolt. Now it's just what it's called. Various map exploits have been and issues have been fixed on the island. Um, New admin command added, which is this one here, as you can see. This uh, command will recall the item with the closest name. You know, if you put in.
in like anything like this and it was the golden egg then it will bring back anything that you have missed you know something that you've lost or anything like that new menu option to disable menu music and 60 plus new explorer notes which after all uh, which offer all translations and on-screen text if you didn't know so that is everything to do with the update there and when you scroll down everything here is what i'm going to be doing for my next video when the console update does drop as you guys know, I do like how to spawn in videos and how to tame and you know I do the force taming and everything like that and you guys love those videos as soon as I upload them because you know you guys obviously want to check I always do it as, as quick as I can because you guys obviously want to find out how you can get all the new dinos So when I do this these are going to be all the spawn in commands now mine will be very different to the way these are set out I just do the summon command so I just do find the easiest way for you guys But if you do want to follow this way and you want to and you are on the PC and you're watching this video you may want to pause the video video and you can try out any of these as well as on the console when this does drop on July uh, on June the 8th sorry not July that would be not be great would it that's probably around about the time the next update will come out but yes so that is everything you can see here you can actually scroll along if you if there's anything you missed out here um I, I'll pause it sort of you can pause the video if you want here if you if you missed anything out but yes that is everything that you guys need to know about version 258 on the PC version 755 on the Xbox and version 509 on the PS4 it's going to be a great update and obviously I hope you guys on the PC are enjoying it. I have done my, my first few videos on the PC which was ver for version 258 and now I'm going to be doing, as soon as the update does drop on the 8th, I'll be doing lots of console videos for you guys and I hope you are live and having more sort of gameplay on the channel. I know lots of you guys love that as well as you do love these information videos. But yes, as I said, for if you want to see read anything that you have, you know, you may not understand or something, the link to this will be in the description down below for so much more stuff. I hope you have understood this video enough. I know some of my pronunciations aren't always as great, but I hope it has been good for you guys to understand. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video and you wouldn't mind dropping a like, that'd be great. Thank you for all the support you guys have been showing. Make sure to drop a sub if you haven't either. It really does mean so much to me as we are getting closer to 42,000 subscribers. And my dream of getting to that 50,000 is getting closer and closer, which just is just unbelievable. So thank you guys all for that. And also, if you'd like to follow me, just quickly to add in, I know I said this at the end of most of my videos. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, the links will always be in the description down below you can find out loads more information that you know easily on there because I always retweet massive things from devs and you know then you can actually find out things earlier than when I do videos on them so if there's big information on Twitter from the devs I'll obviously make a video on there so then you guys may see that earlier if you follow me on Twitter and I retweet and you can find out information pretty early on there links will be in the description down below to my Twitter and Instagram but anyway guys thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video see you guys later